Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and yes, loops are bad. And professional composers, they don't use loops. But hey, loops can be pretty inspiring. And I think we're all allowed to have a little fun once in a while. Let's do this! Aviosity recently released their analog hybrid drums. And as they are housed in this fabulous Damage 2 engine in today's very short video, I just would like to show you how you can have a little fun in that wonderful, wonderful loop designer. The really cool thing here is you see there are the red, the blue, the orange, the yellow, the two keys, the green and the dark blue keys, and they all trigger various things. So these light blue keys, those are the designer keys. If I press the C, for example, you see there are three C's triggered. The red one, which is the low, the yellow, which is the mid, and the turquoise, which is the high. The cool thing is once you choose one of them, then you can hear easily change which loop precisely is triggered from the three above. The red ones here, those are stutter keys. And then the latest octave, which you have here in the source browser, you see one, two, three, those are the lows, the mids and the highs. And here you go up then to the highest portion where you do have then impacts or reverses or stuff like this and they are time synced four beat two beat one beat you just choose them from here and then in the loop designer what you can do easily you just choose one of the loops in this case i've chosen this one and i start the whole thing here with a four beat reverse and then i have an impact at the very beginning, you see this in the piano roll, and it sounds like this. Then I use the starter keys. And then I do have, again, just an effect here. A short one in this case, two beats, and then I did something different. In the piano roll, I just triggered them myself. So in the low portion, I continue with this one. In the mid portion, I've chosen this one. And this one. But on this one, I did something here with the loop itself. You have the start point, the loop point and the end point. And I just set it to here. So only this bit is looped. Then from the highs, I've been choosing this one and this one. And what did I do here? You see, I worked with the panning. So whatever you do here, is related only to that loop. So I've chosen this one and I panned it hard to the left and I've chosen this one and I panned it hard to the right. So if they play together, you get this effect and it all sounds like this. And I do end everything with a two beat reverse symbol. This wonderful sound trailers love me and the space better. So the whole drums are done so quickly only using the loop designer. And then if we add, want to add something underneath, then yes, I just prepared something using mosaic, neon, the damaged guitars and symphonic destruction.
So I think once in a while we are allowed to have a little fun and I think you see now that even those loops they can give you this inspiration this initial spark to start something and then if you play with them a little bit if you use them a little bit then you get results far different from what you get out of the box so in my opinion worth looking even at the loop designer and then in the master effects for example you could switch on the delay or the drive or the mix or whatsoever and it sounds again a little different just thanks to the delay. What's your opinion about loops? Let me know in the comments. I would be really curious to know your thoughts. If you would like to see another video of mine, then I suggest watch my live stream about the solo textures from Heavy OCT where they really went soft OCT. And that's it from my side from today. Make good music always. See you in the next video or on the next live stream. Bye bye.